while in Tanzania on safari and as part of our safari package, we had the opportunity to visit a Maasai village about halfway between the Ngorongoro crater area and the Serengeti National Park. The Maasai tribe is a semi-nomadic ethnic group located in Kenya and Tanzania, known for their distinct culture, traditions, and vibrant clothing. They have a rich heritage in music, dance, and a strong connection to their land and cattle. We were told that there are over 120 distinct tribes in Tanzania. And the Maasai tribe is not the largest, but it is the most well known. Estimating the exact population of the Maasai can be challenging due to their semi-nomadic lifestyle and various subgroups spread across different regions. However, their population is estimated to be around 1.5 to 2 million people across Kenya and Tanzania combined. Shortly after we arrived, they gave us all robes and then put on quite a show. Watch this video to the end and you'll learn quite a bit about their village life, what the Maasai eat, how they build their huts, and see some really cute video of their kindergarten children in school. After several minutes of dancing, they started asking us to join them. Ray and Krista were the first to be selected. Then it was Sue's turn. For some reason I didn't get picked, but maybe it was because I was older or maybe because I had a big camera around my neck and was recording. You didn't pick me because I looked too old, probably. Like I couldn't jump. No, you didn't pick me. No, maybe because I had a big camera. I don't think. Welcome inside. Oh. Welcome to this tea. Visit. First of all, welcome to this tea. Outside in the houses and in inside. Okay. After going in the outside, inside, I will give you a short blessing on the side. Okay. So in the outside, it must be to put a grass. This is a grass. This is a cashier tree. Mm -hmm. And this is a made cow dam. You know cow dam? Yes. So this is a finish for outside. So you all come to visit inside. Sorry, bed your head, please. Sorry, you need to bed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bed your head like this. Welcome. Okay. Maasai huts are traditionally constructed using a combination of traditional materials found in their environment. The framework is usually made from slender tree branches or poles intertwined and bent to form a dome-shaped structure. The walls are typically constructed using a mix of mud, sticks, grass, and cow dung, which is applied in layers. This combination helps insulate the hut, keeping it cool during the day and warmer at night. The roofs are thatched with grass or sometimes other available materials. <laughs> this house, there are three types of doors. I have uh, three types. I have uh, two beds. Mm -hmm. This bed is special for sleeping mm -hmm. parent, wife and husband. Mm -hmm. And this bed is special for sleeping kid. Oh. I have a uh, place for fire. Mm -hmm. I have a small window like supported piece. 
like for people to smoke, smoking outside. Mm -hmm. uh, one family, a population of people mm -hmm. live in a village, one and twenty. It is one family. Mm -hmm. I'm a son of the chief. Mm -hmm. My father, I have 25 wives. Okay. I have 10 villages. Mm -hmm. So, in this village, I have uh, two groups. Mm -hmm. I have uh, warriors, like me. Mm -hmm. Warriors, it must be during the night protected. Oh. Protect. Yeah. If you see the lion, mm -hmm. but it's not killed, mm -hmm. it must be to make a noise. Yeah! And then lion run. Mm -hmm. We come to the near the forest. Mm -hmm. I have uh, old women, mm -hmm. I have uh, old men. Mm -hmm. Old women, it must be to deliver the baby. Which, which one can you pregnant? And the old, old men, this must be to see cow, which one to, mm -hmm. to, to seek for cow, maybe goat and the sheep. And to, to, today, every day, early morning, this must be to kill one cow. Masai, it is eat three food blood, milk, and meat. From cow, goat, sheep, goat, sheep, no animal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it is must be early morning. You understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. This must be to kill one cow. Yes. Five goat, five sheep, and mm -hmm. then we separate for meat for all of this. Every morning. Every morning. Oh wow. Yes. Every morning. Mm -hmm. Seems like a lot of meat. Every morning. No, it's for the whole. The whole. Must yeah. I no vegetable, mm -hmm. no rice, no any food. No mm -hmm. vegetables. No. Oh. It is eat meat, blood, and the milk. And that's it. Nothing. Any food? No. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you drink just water? Water. I buy water from Gorongoro. Okay. In this area there is no water, but I have had sold water. I buy water from Gorongoro and then I put the same thing. Mm -hmm. I have the same thing there. In this village I have a kindergarten school. Mm. After another program I will show you kindergarten school. I have it. After finishing kindergarten school in this village, I go into the primary school. Mm -hmm. It is very far now, so I'm going to stay boarding school, mm -hmm. going to run into back the home. So this is a short breathing in Maasai living style. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Sandy, Sandy. Feedback. Space, space, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. yes. Space, yes. yes. Oh, yes. yes. Say, wale sere. <laughs> like Maasai, say cheese, wale sere. Yes. Do a lot of people here speak English? No, I have uh, three people who right. speak English in the village. How many are in the village? 120. 120. Yes. In the 120, I have three people speak English. Mm -hmm. yes. wow. Me and the other two brothers. Mm -hmm. If you're enjoying this video, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. From here, mm -hmm. welcome to look, welcome to tasty, welcome to touch, welcome to around for all marketing. After this is the end. Mm -hmm. So welcome to start for around I have a big market. So I have many things. Welcome to me. Thank you. Yes. After the dancing and the tour of their home and living conditions, the chief escorted us to their market where they had uh, many items for sale. They didn't claim to make these items, but they did say that they were made especially for the Maasai. However, we had seen similar items or almost identical items in some of the other shops we had stopped at prior to coming to the village. If you want to purchase an item to support their village, that's fine, but realize that none of the items are priced and you will be asked to negotiate later. If you express interest in an item, touch it or pick it up to look at it, don't be surprised if they follow behind you and put it in a basket to ask you to purchase it later. Krista selected a pair of earrings that she liked and Sue saw a small beaded basket and then the negotiations began. The process was quite involved. Krista would tell the chief uh, that she wanted the earrings. He spoke to his brother, and the brother spoke to the older woman who made the decision about what they were worth. She then told the brother, and he told the chief, and then the chief told Krista. We probably could have negotiated the prices down but we chose not to. Krista ended up paying $30 for a pair of earrings and Sue ended up paying $45 for a very small beaded basket. I believe it was a cash only transaction and we did find that every place we went took American currency. 
This is a corral for the cattle. Okay, Jumbo. This is their school. Oh, Jumbo. The visit to the Maasai village was very interesting and we we're really glad that we did it. However, we did find the market to be a little intimidating. We're hoping to return to Tanzania someday, but this is probably something we won't do again. <laughs>